All right, so in this video, I want to show you a couple quick tricks that I used or that you can use for um, the situation where maybe a roughing pass deflected in a certain area, uh, this area shown by this red spline here, um, and caused the finish to not fully clean up, right? We're seeing some remnants of the finish pass, and it may be only a couple thou deep, right? But aesthetically, and we're talking about an aesthetic part here, an aesthetic, aesthetic, aesthetic feature where it, you know, we, we have that, we can play with the surface, right? So we could easily drop that whole surface by five thou and the parts still meet spec. The problem is we would have to rerun hours of finishing or only do this one area. And then that area is clearly patchy um, when you visually look at the part. So here's a quick way to address that. Um, and the way that I would do that is create a, a surface from solid here. We're going to use some of our surface manipulation tools that we have. So I'll do a edit surface. And if I click on that, it's going to give me the U and V lines that describe this surface. So what I can do is go in and kind of define a few more UV lines that will lie directly on the surface. So I'll I'll throw one here and you'll kind of see why I'm I'm doing what I'm doing in a second here. I'll throw another one here. Okay. And lastly we'll throw one more, I don't know, somewhere here. Okay. So I'm kind of over defining this surface with UV lines. What that allows me to do now is to come in here and grab, you know, this node, okay? And when I grab that node, now I can take that and I'm manipulating this surface now to drop down by, you know, if that's a 2,000 gouge we want to take out of there, well, maybe I only want to adjust it by, I don't know, uh, let's say 6,000, okay? So what that does is that's just minorly adjusting um, the, U, the, the actual dip of that surface in that area uh, and allowing it to blend out. Okay, so that, that's what it looks like by default. Again, I put in minus six, and you can see we've now got that dip that's in that surface, but it blends out to where the surface lie, was lying before, right? So this allows me to do a concentrated cut here that's still gonna blend out to the old surfaces. So let me green check that, and now you can see that surface clearly, you know, as it, you know, we've got some graphics um, issues there, tolerance issues there that are showing it a little funkier than it probably is. But now I can just machine this area and it'll blend out to where that was before. So let me go back into the top view and we can kind of see that here. And you, you can see that, you know, that surface is kind of not showing through all the way down here, but you can still see some lines in the graphic showing through. So I'm gonna draw a border that's going to encompass this. And it can be a complex border, uh, you know, shown by like a manual spline. So I can come right out to where I see that edge is back to you know that original height of that original surface and do something like this right okay so now i've got a border i can take this and project that down onto my surface so we'll project this down onto that surface perfect now that's going to really nicely represent the patch that we have. So now I can go back into surfaces, trim the curves, grab this surface, grab that edge. I wanna keep that section. So now I have a surface that runs out to there, but will clean up that whole section. Now the trick is I even want my step overs and everything to match. So let's, let's copy this parallel tool path down and in cut pattern, rather than use um, the service that I have, I'll instead use this guy. All right, let me check. 
And you'll see it's now created toolpath. Obviously, I would probably have a finer step over when I did this for real. But that's got a toolpath just machining that patch. And if I turn on both toolpaths, you can see they directly overlay each other. Now, I do have some links in here. Those are easy to get rid of if I wanted to. But that would drop basically right on the step over of the old tool, pick up, and match the step overs exactly while just blending down into the divot uh, to this divot that we've created in the surface. Slight divot. Remember, it's only six thou. Uh, so it's going to blend into that slight divot and come back out and should leave you a nice feathered edge uh, on the part. Obviously a lot better than if we just machined that whole thing down by 5,000.